I'm going to read Jane Goodall by Isabella Sanchez Vergara. When Jane was a little girl, her father gave her a stuffed chimpanzee named Jubilee. She carried him wherever she went. Jane loved animals very much. She wanted to live in the jungle with wild chimpanzees, just like the heroes of her bedtime stories, Tarzan and Jane. At night, her mother read her their adventures. But Jane could not afford to go to college to study animals, so she would have to study them in her own way. She saved every penny she had until she could buy a boat ticket to Kenya in Africa. When she arrived, Jane met a well-known scientist named Louis Leakey. He was looking for a chimpanzee researcher, willing to study them in the wild. He thought that they could learn about humans by studying apes. It was the opportunity Jane had been waiting for. So Jane took another journey to the shores of Gombe in Tanzania. To start with, she couldn't see any chimpanzees, but she had the feeling that they were near watching her. She decided to sit quietly in the same spot day after day. Finally, a small group of chimpanzees appeared and let her sit with them. Jane had been accepted into the family. Instead of numbering them, as all the other scientists did, Jane decided to give every chimpanzee a name. There was David Graybeard, Flo, Flint, Fifi, and Gigi, to name a few. By watching them carefully, she noticed that some chimps were kind, quiet, and generous while others were bullies. It seemed that humans and chimps were not so different after all. Then Jane made another incredible discovery. Chimpanzees could make their own tools. This was something only humans were thought to do. Jane's talent was quickly recognized by Cambridge University. Here, she studied for her doctorate in animal behavior, and it wasn't long before she wrote her first article for one of the most famous science magazines. Jane continued to study chimps in the Gombe for 40 years, but jungles were starting to disappear across Africa, which put all animals in danger. She knew she had to do something. Jane joined countless projects to protect nature. She was no longer just a courageous researcher, but also the most determined wildlife defender the world had ever seen. And the little girl who loved animals challenges us to be kind to nature. Because if chimpanzees can live in harmony with their environment, we can too. Jane Goodall, born 1934. Jane Goodall was born in London, England. When she was one, her father gave her a cuddly toy chimpanzee named Jubilee. Some people thought it would scare her, but she loved it, and it fostered her early love of animals. From an early age, Jane dreamed of living in Africa, where she could watch and write about animals. Jane's mother encouraged her dream and told her she must never give up. But when Jane left school, she couldn't afford to go to college to follow her dream. So she worked hard to save enough money. And in 1957, she traveled to Kenya in Africa. There she met with a very important scientist named Dr. Louis Lakey, who was so impressed with Jane that he hired her as his assistant. Jane traveled to the Gombe Stream Chimpanzee Reserve in Tanzania to study chimps in the wild. At first, it was hard to get close enough to study them, but Jane waited patiently every day, giving them their space. Soon, they accepted her. 
By watching them closely, Jane made many groundbreaking discoveries. Most importantly, she saw chimps making and using tools. This was something only humans were thought to do. Jane showed that there isn't a sharp divide between humans and primates after all. Later, Jane studied for her doctorate and became a world leading expert on chimpanzees. Now Jane dedicates her life to conservation and education, spreading the message that we can all make a difference to the future of our planet.